in pakistan the phenomena of corporate governance was well taken by the pakistani corporate firms in the year 2002 when the securities and exchange commission of pakistan formally introduced and implemented the code of corporate governance and mandated it for every listed company to comply at that time in the country there were three stock exchanges namely the lahore stock exchange the karachi stock exchange and the islamabad stock exchange few years back these three stock exchanges had been merged into one and currently there is one stock exchange under the title of the pakistan stock exchange now every company in the country from any sector but if the company is listed at the pakistan stock exchange the company is bound to comply the code of corporate governance in its true letter and spirit also the listed companies are bound to do two things in this regard at first companies are bound to produce a director's review on the compliance status of the court in their audited balance sheets and second is that the companies are bound to disclose the aud external auditors review on this compliance status so both these two items are reported in the annual financial statements of the companies this corporate code uh, governance code since its inception in 2002 has undergone many changes and variations some had been deleted and some has been introduced in this period till now now let me list down the components of this code of corporate governance that is currently applicable in pakistan the first is the board composition this refers to the number of directorships that means how many directors positions are director holds in companies at present a director is, is required not to hold more than 5 directorships in companies board diversity this refers to the education and skill and other qualifications of the board members representation of the minority shareholders the code encourages companies to facilitate the voting of minority shareholders for electing their members in the board independent directors at present the code says that at minimum two members or one third of the total number of the board members which ever is higher should be working as independent directors on the board one female director is mandated for every listed company to be on the board a executive directors the companies are mandated to state the number of executive directors and their work disclose in their annual audited accounts chairman of the board the the court mandates every company to separate its chief executive officer from the board chairman board meeting the court displays a certain mechanism for holding board meetings it says that the board chairman should prepare the board meetings agenda and disseminate it to the board members along with certain supporting documents and should give reasonable time to the members 
to hold this board meeting the company secretary is required to note and keep a record of the minutes of the board meetings then the code sets a criteria for attendance by the board members in their meeting remuneration of directors the code encourages company to have a formal policy for setting remuneration package for the directors against their services and for attending meetings of the board determination of remuneration the the code of corporate governance appreciates companies to display a formal and transparent procedure for determining the remuneration of board members it prohibits any individual director on the board to determining by itself his or her own remuneration board responsibilities there has been listed a number of responsibilities to be undertaken by the board members let me introduce a few of them governance of the risk the board members should set tolerance level against risk they should design a research a risk management framework at the corporate level the board members should ensure a formal statement of company's vision mission and a corporate strategy in support of reaching these missions or vision of the company code of conduct to promote ethical culture the board ensure that there should be a formal policy to be compliant by every company officers or managers at the corporate level the board members ensure that systems and controls should be there to address any grievances at the part of any member on the board or any officer or any employee of the company and an effective solution mechanism to that particular grievance the board member are responsible to develop and maintain a strong internal control system for the safeguard of the firm's assets they are responsible to take all decisions of the firm in terms of financing in terms of investing in terms of operating or any other domain at the corporate level an important responsibility of the board members is to set materiality level of the company and to develop a strong but appropriate guidelines to cover materiality and disclose its effects on the financial health of the company directors training program the code of corporate governance urges the companies to have all or all of its directors certified as the certified directors for that purpose a directors training program has been introduced and implemented by secp the securities and exchange commission of pakistan and by 2021 all directors of all the companies are required to be certified under this directors training program for that purpose a specialized institute under the name of pakistan institute of corporate governance has been set in the country cfo company secretary and head of internal audit the court urges the company to create specialized positions under these titles the board, the court also specifies particular 
एक्सपीरियंस एंड एजुकेशन लेवल एंड स्पेशलाइज क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर ऑल दीज थ्री पोजिशंस रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग एंड कारपोरेट कंप्लाइंस द कोड लेज दिस रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ कारपोरेट फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग टू द चीफ फाइनेंशियल ऑफिसर एंड द चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर these two persons are required to endorse the financial statements before these are presented to the board members also these two persons are required to endorse the audited financial statements as they are initialed by the external auditor the board the code of corporate governance urges the company to set certain committees like audit committee hr and remuneration committee nomination committee risk management committee for all these four committees the composition of these committees the meeting mechanics of these committees and the terms of references for these all four committees also been laid down by the court internal audit the code of corporate governance urges every company to set a separate and independent internal audit function in the company and the company is required to appoint a separate head of internal internal audit reporting and disclosures finally the the court urges that the compliance of this code of corporate governance should be transparently disclosed in the director's report in terms of board composition in terms of board committees in terms of director's remuneration uh, disclosure of significant accounting and other policies of the firm on website at significant places and in the audited financial statements and uh, the compliance of the court along with auditors review there on so far as if there is any uh, contravention in the compliance of this court the person are persons who are determined responsible for this non compliance the court urges a penalty for such persons but the court has also given a certain relaxation where a particular provision of the code is not applicable in any case by the company